Alright, so this is going to be a pretty long video. I might have to do like a part two section. But, just got off work. I'm tired. Look at this. Oh, I lost all the jewels on my on this finger. Losing two jewels. Sad. But I have quite the collection from Profusion. It's their like Halloween kind of like witchy rituals kind of thing. It's a big old display at Walmart right now. Um, well, at mine right now, and it's pretty much sold out. I got it, like, two weeks ago, and kind of just haven't gotten to it, but we'll get to it today. Um, so, most stores might already have it on sale, too, because it is a really big display and takes up a lot of space. I have some stuff, too, extra that's not from the collection that I wanted to try and that I bought. So, I have that set aside over there. But, um, I spent a pretty penny on all of this. But I had to get it. When I saw it, I was like, it's going to be mine. So let's begin. Let me see what I first started with on this list. Because it is a long list. Because I also bought the Milani one on this one. So this one is the um, four-piece makeup set. Which I believe... It's got like... It's um, this one. So it's this. The four-piece makeup set. $14.98. And you open it up. So it's got, <laughs> comes with this little horns right there, some like jewels for the face, a nice little quad palette, and what looks like a liquid lipstick, a mini liquid lipstick. So four pieces for that one for $14.98. It's so sad because that box is just going to go to trash or recycling, recycling. And then we have the Profusion Cosmetics Ritual Cosmetic Bag with Face Gems for $9.98. So here's this. I just wanted to get it because, I mean, part, look at that. You got some jewels and they're cute. So it is nice for travel, like your emergency makeup bag for your car. And then I got the Profusion Cosmetics Rituals 28 Shade Face and Eye Palette. Normally I don't go for face and eye palettes because I know tend not to use those, but they look like a good range for my skin tone. Like, look at this. This actually looks like it would work, okay? Like, that's a good blush for me, that's a good bronzing, and that's a good highlight. That is a highlight. And then the colors here are pretty basic, but... Yeah, but that's $17.98, so... Um, and then we have a beautiful brush set here. I have to break that seal. It's four-piece face and eyeshadow brush set for $14.98. It's pretty cute. I'm like, where did I leave my box cutter? I thought I had one in here. I thought I had it nearby. Who knows where I went? Oh my, can I can I find something? Because I want to open it to show you guys the makeup brushes. Let me struggle for a little bit right now. Using a, <laughs> a nail file kind of thing going on. So I think I got it. Yeah. So we're opening it up. It's just plainly wrapped. I thought, you know, maybe something more would be in there. No. And they're loose. So, you get four. It doesn't give you a description on what it is. So, it's just face and eye set. So, let's get this off. I, it looks more like face to me than eye. That, yeah, definitely looks more like a face set. Maybe this one you could use on your eye in the crease. But these are definitely more for your face. They're, um, this one's really lightweight. Yeah, they're, they're so nice. These are barely any different, in my opinion. So, kind of redundant. Not too happy with that. Like, I feel like it wasn't really worth them $15 for those. You do get a cute, um, little case, though. Put that aside. Next up, we have the Water Activate Eyeliner Haunting Rituals. So I got this. I don't normally use these. This one is in Bloody Mary. See, so it, it comes with a brush. I don't really know if that's gonna be my thing. Um, so I put that aside. For that's nine ninety eight. Um, frosted cream powder highlighter in flare. I don't see it. <gasps> I'm missing my highlighter. I might be missing a lot of pieces, actually, if I'm missing that one. 
Yep, I am. I'm going to have to be right back. I have to go hunt down a bag. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a part two because this collection is huge. <laughs> so next up, before 98 this one is a cream to powder highlighter. And this one is in... This one just says frosted highlighter. I'm trying to see if they have... Yeah, so this one's... Um... Oh. <laughs> oh dear, where do I find the names? Where do I find the names? I don't know where the names are, but I think this one is the Flare, which is a nicer, deeper one. And then we have this one, which is a very light white one. So I'm going to leave that at that. But there are more active water activated liners that I missed because they were in the other bag. So this one is in the Boogeyman. It's black and white. Cool. And then we have La Llorona. Those are really nice. Blues. If you know that that's the lady who's looking for her drowned children. It's pretty spooky stuff. I will tell you that. Pretty spooky stuff. And then we have the Fortune Glitter Gel gels here and they are $4.98 psychic reading and crystal ball that one's in the nice white and this one's a pink I'm trying to like find space on my little desk here table so we have a mascara it looks like so I'm trying to find it the mascaras are $6.98 Oh no, those are the stamps. Where's my... So here it is. So it's a dual duo for $6.98. You get the mascara and you get a liner. Midnight Black. So we have those. Nice. And now we have the Blush Star Stamp. Three of Swords. So Three of Swords would be this one. So I'm like really interested in what it means by blush heart stamp reversed berry and we have upright pink interesting interesting and then we had a mattifying setting spray this one right here shake it up a little before we get even into it so we have the lipsticks which come in 498 which are 498 and I got four of them. Ah, you see this packaging though? Like I'm not giving it enough um, credit. It's got little bows. That bow fell off. I've mistreated these <laughs> for the last couple of weeks. I really just forgot. Well, I haven't forgot. It's just sat over there and I'm just like, I'll get to it. Boom, out of mind. I just said out of mind is my thing. It's my problem. They're sealed on both ends and I don't have a box cutter so I'm going to struggle. But we have... Black Tourmaline, Tourmaline, Amethyst, Rose Quartz, and Aragonite Red. They don't really look that different with little strips around them, so I'm kind of like, mmm. So that's the other highlighter. miscellaneous and then we have the eye primer duo so it's black and white so get that ready get everything ready for you nice base at the beginning and then you get this the ritual handheld mirror like this it's pretty cool i think and that one's 6.98 and we have some lashes for 4.98 so you get um the Spellbinding Lashes. This one's Witchcraft. Like, each of these are sealed nicely. So this one's Witchcraft. Let me see if I can just struggle. As always, I'm going to have to find, like, um, something to try to get this open with. I'm having cramps. How's everyone been? Have you guys had any hurdles in your life recently? My mom's anniversary is coming up. And I'm like trying to not let it get to me. I can't open these. 
Um, and then, like I said, this one is sorcery. So they don't look bad. I do think they look very promising. We'll open them up in a second. I'll struggle later. So six ninety eight is for this palette right here. It looks very nice. These are purple, nice deep shades right here. Crease shade. And your highlight rub on how you know we got that right there. And you got some face stamps for four ninety eight. I believe that will be it. Yeah, so we have some face stamps for four ninety eight. This one is a black star. Shows you right there. It's gonna be a star. And then we have a crescent dark moon. So this is gonna be very interesting. I am very excited. There is a lot to try. Way too much to try. I'm already at 10 minutes just in through this. Um, so I'm probably gonna end this here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll prep my face and then we'll continue in a part two because of the fact of how long this is probably gonna be. And because of the fact that I'm bringing in this type of foundation, which is Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector with hyaluronic acid, medium to full coverage, natural satin finish, SPS 15, which really doesn't matter because of the fact that you'll only be protected for like an hour or so before you, you know, it loses its... <sighs> um, what would you call it? It loses its potency so it doesn't become as effective, you know, over time, but... Okay, so we're gonna try that. And let me prime. I'm, do I need to prime my face? Of course I do. Or my face priming. Face priming. Face priming. That's not for face. Is this for face? Yes. So I do want to. I do want to go out today. So I am gonna go and prime myself up and everything. Get rid of some of these pores because I don't want my pores to show. I want a nice, good, clean base. I'm still. Very big on the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. Still use that every single time I do my makeup and I'm going to leave the house. Now, if I'm not going to leave the house, I don't do the whole prep. My face, because of the fact that I know I'm going to take it off pretty soon. I'm trying to find my other... Um... Other face prepping stuff, but I don't see it. I guess that'll be fun for today. Just that. So we're gonna open it up. It's already ready to go. Um, this collection did not come with a sponge, so let me go with my sponge. I know, I'm sorry, I'm putting you on pause too often. Okay, so we have a wet sponge. We're gonna put that. Oh, it's separated a bit in the packaging. I bought this like a couple weeks ago. have not opened it. So let me shake it up. Maybe that's the problem. I hear the baby upstairs. He's watching Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's try it again. Oh, 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 no, it was the cat that came down. It's a little chunky. I'm gonna put it on my face. Oh yeah, but it is chunky. So, ooh, I'm, it's cold. Is this the right shade? Mm, it's looking a little yellow. Let's see if it shears out a bit. Hmm. What did I say it was? Long wear skin perfecting, medium to full coverage. Definitely yellow. Not really scented, so I don't mind it. You can see the yellow more on camera than you can, like, in person. So that's okay, I guess. Just wiping it for right now, and then I'm going to pat it in. You guys know how I am. So it's just going to be a product. This is for the foundation, I guess. It'll be a reveal for the collection and try on of these foundation. Will it work? I like the finish so far. It's actually nice. Very light. But it's giving me nice coverage. At least I think it is. Let me grab this mirror. Struggle to take the covering off of it. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, my. That is stuck on there. Like, if you, if you listening right there, you hear me struggling to get that up. 
I still didn't get it, so. But, I am yellow. Most definitely yellow, so let's see if we can balance that out in a second. I'm end up scratching up my mirror before I can even get this stuff off. Why is this so... Oh my goodness. They're like, we are going to guarantee your mirror is unscathed. Unless you try to get this off and it's definitely going to be like scratched up. Maybe it's just me, but... Oof! Okay. So let me take a nice close look. Mm. Okay. I'm covering you guys. Even, it is kind of glowy. It is giving me a glowy look. It emphasizes my pores <laughs> over here, which normally does not happen. I've not had a foundation that does that. But it emphasizes my pores on the side. So I'm trying to smooth it out. So that helped a little. I kind of just dragged it and got it into the pores a bit so that's fine okay so we have that going on i'm gonna pause you because the concealer i'm about to use is not part of the profusion so be back okay so nice it did help even out the yellowness a bit so i'm happy with that i'm going to i always do my face first i am sorry but i really do my face first oh so because of that i have two things to try though i have this cheek thing and then i have the palette that has the chic stuff in it. So I found my box cutter. So let me see. Put that over there. Get this out. This one's a lighter pink. It literally has a heart on the top. So I'm trying to figure out like what is. Oh. 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 Here's. A, it's a. Um. What's a cushion blush? Okay, cool. Um, I'm not going to use it yet because of the fact that I want to do my contour first. Forced. First. Where's the other blush? Right here. I'm blind. I have a hard time seeing. So for my contour, I'm going to use something else. I am going to use the bronzer in this. The contour I want darker, obviously, because I'm, you know, I'm going to create depth my face again now that I made it plain but I will show you these colors first so this one's a nicer lighter pink nicer not nicer it's just a nice light pink this one does not have the little holy thing for me to get it out so there we go cool and once again I'm so sorry about all the pauses but these are like saving me seconds that I can you know let me do it around the way okay so the colors are a lot prettier now so the highlighting shade is that, and it's initiation, and then we have the bronzing shade, bronzing for me, cult, and then a blush shade, ritual. So those are them. I do like this bronzing shade right here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do lightly. It is a bit dark, it is a bit warm. There is a nice mirror in that palette that I can use. So I'm just doing the edges of my forehead because of the fact that I want a little bit of color back into my face, but not like sculpted kind of look. Kind of like I do go outside even though I don't because I'm overnight. And then I go to my second job and I stay inside that building and it's insane. So we go like this, go like this, go like this, get it nice and everywhere, nice and even. There's that. And now we're just trying to figure out how this is going to work. So I'm going to try to put this here like I normally would with my other stuff. Open it up. I feel like this is... Oh my goodness. I might have stamped it a little too hard. Okay, it does go on nice and light. Oh. So it's tapped on. Putting it back in here. So I'm not a big fan of it already because of the fact that that seems kind of unhygienic. It's still kind of wet. 
but that's cool, I guess. So I'm spreading it, working it into my cheeks. Nice little rosiness right here. And getting it mixed into the rest of my face. Get it all nice and up in there. Like so. She can make it lighter. So there's that one. Now here's the darker one. Open it up. Stamp. I don't want too much. I'm going to be able to work it into... It might be too much. Hmm. Hmm. Clicked. Clicked. You have to hear that click. So let's see if I can work it into... Mm, my contour. I'm trying to see. Where did I leave the mirror? My hand mirror all the way over here. So, blending it. Blending it in. Circular motions. Circular motions. Circular motions. The initial stamp site is obviously darker than the rest of it, so I'm trying to like lighten it because it is darker than the rest. And it works beautifully into the skin, into the foundation. Nice blendability. So it is nice. Don't really know if it's like the best um, blush I've had. Kind of did take my contour away, trying to blend it in. Mm. But overall, I like it. Um, I'm also, obviously, can just grab a little extra like that. Just dab it in. So you can just use your normal brush. Your blush brush. You don't have to use the <laughs> heart. Oh, but you can wash your brush. Nice. Tiniest bit. Tiniest bit. Tiniest bit for the tip of the nose. Blending it in. Nice. So that's one of the brushes that came with the kit. And we have two highlighters. I think I'm actually going to use this one. Face prep is going to be part one of the video. <laughs> um, so, there's just this one. There's this, this one. And this one is Flare. So I guess correctly, this one is Flare. Opening it up. Just tossing everything to the side right now. Looks like this. Just a common... Hello light. Nice, calm, pretty. Pretty highlight. That's what I said I was going to go with, but that's a little too bleh. No, you know. If you'd like subtle, nice, soft. Definitely for you. Me, I'm not subtle, soft, or quiet <laughs> at all. So here's this one. This one's lovely. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, these are very like floofy, okay? Oh, wow. Wow. That is definitely something for like the brow bone and inner corner. Okay, that is very strong. Very strong. Very out there. So, leave that like this for later. Gonna get this one. Tap. Tap, tap. Nothing came up. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Very light. Where'd my mirror go again? Soft, subtle. If you're going to use a brush, picking it up on the brush is going to be a task within itself. Mm. 
got that on. And got this on. Tip of the nose. I'm gonna go with this. Tip of the nose. And bridge. Just a soft, subtle highlight with that one, which is okay. Oh, the nose edge. Ah. Nose edge. I'm curious as to what the other one would look like. I don't want to have a white cast. But I have a white cast and have to start over. I'm already at 25 minutes. That would be... would be awful. i go with a little bit of a thicker brush. Watch it be a mistake. Any difference? Yes, actually. Oh, that one looks better. In my opinion, it looks better. <gasps> it's a fly. <laughs> oh, that's something fell. So there we go with the face look. I like it. It's nice, buildable, easy. So I am going to let you guys go. I'm going to do a part two with um, the eye section of it oh, because of the fact that I'm already at 26 minutes. So if you still want to continue to see the other part, if you're interested how um, the eye look and all that will come out, I'm seeing the other stuff, just we'll see you in part two. But I feel like I should probably keep going a little bit longer on this one because of the fact that I still have so much to go. Should I use the white? And black primers. I'm gonna show you what they look like. I think I'm gonna use a normal eye primer because of the fact that I want to use these for like every day. I'm not doing anything too Im impactful today, other than maybe the jewels. So we are gonna take those out. This is definitely if you want like a bright, bright base, so your um, colors can really come through. So yeah, that's just plain white. And then when you go with your um the black one, glitter, um, things like that also look really good on it. Multi-chrome. It's a very versatile base. Many people don't know about. Let me know if you want to see me do a look with black as a base. I will try my best to do it. I haven't tried it too often. But those are those. Um, I'm not going to use those today. I don't think so because these shades in here are pretty average in my opinion. So I don't think I will need those. So let me prime my eyes. We do have lipsticks, but I can't put the lipstick on until I know what I'm doing. So prime the eyes. I'm using the ABH eye primer. So I can give this palette a fair chance, a fair review. Because not using a regular everyday eye primer on it, I feel it would be at a disadvantage for the palette itself. It's going to get the same start as any other palette. Nice prepped eyes. I want to do bright. Maybe I can do like a quick eye look and I'll show you guys demos, demos, demos. Definitely not eye makeup brushes that came in that set, okay? Definitely not. So we're just going to do nice, quick, simple, simple eye look. I say that, but I mean it this time. I mean it. Because we have a deadline to meet. To meet. I need this. And then finding the brushes is going to be the most time consuming. That's not what I need. Oh dear. So we're gonna go with this one. And I want to do this. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this one. Fatal. We're gonna do fatal. And we're gonna do it on the outer, not really outer, outer edge, but we're gonna do it right here. Like this.
Oops. Hoping it'll work out. It'll come out the way I'm envisioning in my brain. In my brain. So I used a tightly condensed brush. It's kind of fluffy. So I could get the color down first. I'll pick up a good bit of color and then I get it down and then blend it. Blend it out. And after that, I want to go in with this purple. We're going to do purple on the outer, outer edges. Just blend that in. Blend it. I'm going to blend it. They're blending nicely and they're very pigmented, so I'm happy. Happy with that. So happy. And this is the hard part. This is picking like what's going to go in the center. I think we're going to go in with Wrath. This one. We're going to set it like this. I'm about to get crazy, you guys. Just going in. The rows and blending them in. Blending them in. Just blend, 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 blend. And then we're going to go in with this orange. It's going to be our base for our glitter that I'm about to use. Oh, well, I was like, I'm about to use a glitter that's in this palette, but I'm like, I also have glitter that's outside of the palette. And this is a Apply Desire shade on face or body. So this is for face and body. Now we're going to go in with Omen, this one, that one right there. And we're going to do it in the center above the orange. If you have glitter glue, you can use a glitter glue to make sure this stays on. It does not go everywhere. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So on the bottom lash, because I want... I'm going to do... Oh, that's so pretty right there. I'm going to do this lavender looking one. Rise. Really getting it onto the brush. I'm going to go underneath. Ooh. The eye as such. All the way. Lash line like so. And then the center of that, I'm going to do this one. Sorcery, which is this one. There's a little bit of a highlight. Nice. Oh, I do like that. I really do. So, other than that, we have a face step. We have some liners. We're at 34 minutes, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to finish up the eye look on camera and then continue. And this part two with the lips and the final thoughts or something. Or maybe I'll be able to get it all in this video. Who knows? I'm, I think the limit's 48 minutes, though, so I'm getting close. So, let me do this, and then I'll end it, and I'll come back with a part two with... Um, with me being the one I said, please be felt it, please felt it. Ah, oh, yes. So, you guys know how I am. So, I'm going to do this. I might use one of those for like accentuation, but we're going to start like this. 
as always. Just a beautiful black eyeliner. Like so. Bring it in. Like this. Double wing it. Like that. Um, I'm getting an idea on what I might use the liquid liners for. So we have this. I'm very happy with this look so far. Like, look at that. Crunch. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna use one of the one of these face stamps because I want to on this eye. I want the crescent moon, I believe. Let's see how big it is. So these aren't unique to anything. There are other markers that have them. So we have that. Let me test it out before I go. Oh, that is that's actually pretty, pretty nice. Oh, I dropped it. Ugh. So up we go. And I think I want it. Do I want it facing out outwards? Yes. So we're gonna have it facing like that. So we have it facing out. Oh crap. I don't like its placement. There we go. Okay, so we have that going on. Nice. Nice, nice. I am gonna do the star after all. Sorry. I'll just keep packaging and I'm just gonna have to recycle it. You see that? Cute, adorable. I guess it would be a really good gift for, you know, if you really are, if, you you know, you have a significant other, a family member, a friend, an acquaintance you just want to buy stuff for that likes, like, these spooky kind of theme stuff. The star hat, oh, this one's got, this one's a pentagram. <gasps> My mom would get me if she were still here. She was very adamant about things like that nice so they're very nice easy to use just stamp them on there and bam done done um i do have a lash liner i am supposed to i thought i left it out for convenience mar yes i did so it has a mascara so we're gonna do the mascara we're gonna curl our lashes and do the mascara and do that one. We're at 38 minutes. Oh dear me. Okay, curl, 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 curl more. Curl them lashes. Get them curled up. Ouch. Carefully, Mom. Also, so this is a very thick mascara. Volumizing is what it says. So here's the applicator, the brush, the wand. However you want to call it, and we're just going to go through the lashes. It doesn't really do much for my lashes. My lashes are just there. They're just existing. So there's that. I'm gonna go with my Ionie Lash Forever Lash Liner here. Shake, 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 shake. Realign my lash line. We're good. Glue is on. Closing that up. I think I'm gonna go with a Witchcraft. Be careful opening these, okay? Oh, it comes with two pairs. Oh, goodness, yes. Very happy. I hate having to peel these off. Because I'm like, it's so difficult and it takes up so much of my time. And I could ruin them. You know how you ever go to pull them and they rip? Has anyone ever had that? And they just rip. And you're like, well, I didn't even get to use those. <laughs> Just me. Say. Okay, so here we go. Put 
placing it down. Oh. Trying to get it lined up correctly. You can trim these up obviously to fit your eye shape if it's smaller eyes. If you like half lashes, you just want to do it for emphasis. Beautiful. Lovely. I am going to go into this palette after all. I have like eight minutes, maybe five. So I'm going to do that little bit of color in my brow that I normally like to do because I can <laughs> and I want to. So I do want to add this purple right here into the beginning of my eyebrow because of the fact that I do like to do that. Who else likes to do that? So we're going to like this. Into the brow, into the brow. Bring it in like so. Whoops, I might have done too much. But we got that. And then I'm going to use a lighter shade to kind of diffuse it. So this one. A nice little pill. It might be going a little heavy, so let me like shake that off. We're going to bring it in like right there. I'm just going to diffuse it a bit. So it's not so harsh. Like that. And I cleaned off my brush before I did that. So I'm going to bring a little bit of the original shade back. Just a little. And then, with the nice little pointy one, I'm going to go in with this beautiful like pink shade right here. That's like a highlighting shade right there. No, I like this one. This one. So that, we're going to go with that one. Ooh, it's very soft, so be careful. Very soft. It just fell apart on my brush. So that's what we're going to bring. And we're going to do just below the brow bone. So I'm going to have to restamp the moon again, probably. But I'm loving this so far. And it's going to be my inner corner highlight. Like this. Bringing it in. It's all just coming together, you guys. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the other eye, and then we'll be back to do the lips and test out some of these liquid liners. That'll be in part two, though.